Hi friends and welcome to my very first tutorial. I'm Kaylee and I'm here to show you some of my basic tips for makeup. This is what I do every day or you know variations of this. First I always pin back my hair which is why it looks awesome and I have prepped my face with this lotion. It's Aveeno Positively Radiant and it works really well. It uh, keeps my face from getting really oily throughout the day. How I start out is with, I do not know how to pronounce this. I thought it was Stila. I've heard Stila and Stila. So Stila um, has a really great beauty balm that I picked up at Ulta. So I'll take this beauty balm. You don't need too much, so I'll just show you. About that much should cover most of your face. I usually do two coats though, so this much twice. It smells really good, so if you like your makeup to smell good and not gross, this might be the product for you. Okay, so you can see it has a color to it, but it's supposed to cover all skin tones. I rub my fingers together and then I start here and move outwards. It's really, really thin and it goes on basically like lotion. And once it dries, it has a really sheer coverage. I've been using mineral makeup for about three years now, and this covers way better than mineral makeup does. So I'm going for my second coat now, and to cover my forehead, you can see I have some funs that going on there. So the reason you start in the center, underneath your eyes, and work outwards is because you want to concentrate in the center of your face with the makeup. You want more there because that's where people look, is the center of your face. Obviously, you need to make sure that you get it around your jawline, Otherwise that really annoying effect where it looks like you're wearing a mask happens. So this product requires a little bit of time to dry. Um, if you put it on it feels really greasy it's because it hasn't dried yet. So the concealer I use is Tarte Maracuja concealer. So I have it on the back of my hand and I use this brush and then I put a really tiny bit underneath my eyes there and just pat it in. One of my favorite blogs, Mascara, I'll give you the link, um, recommends to put it in a pie piece below your eye. So here, basically. So I've got under my eyes concealed and now I worry about the dots on my face. Okay, so I have my foundation on. Some people will tell you not to do this, but I like to put on my powder before I put on any of my other like blush or eyeshadow or anything. I like Tarte. So I have this Tarte Smooth Operator Powder and this is my brush. It's also Tarte. It's $35. Might be cheaper now. I really recommend this brush. So I take my powder, just kind of dot around on top there. Just rub all around. So this will set your face. It's not sticky anymore, not tacky and just kind of smooth everything out. So from there, I have a couple other products that I really, really love to use. If you're my friend, you've probably heard me talk about this. This is Urban Decay Primer Potion. It makes your eye makeup last forever. So you only need the tiniest, tiniest bit of this. <clears throat> and I just put it on my middle finger, or my ring finger is what that is. Seriously, just not very much. Can you see that? It's my left hand, it's kind of hard. It's like super tiny, and this is enough for both eyes. And I just go like this. So this stuff requires a little bit of drying time too. Um, it's tacky until it's dry. So that's why I do the other things. I do this first and then other things. Let's talk about eyebrows. I always lick my fingers a little bit and just smooth out my eyebrows before I do anything to them. This brown color happens to perfectly match my eyebrows. So this is how I fill them in, and I do this every day. So if you don't have an eyeshadow brush, I would get, I would really think about getting one. This uh, came with the palette, but any sort of angled brush or small, dense bristle brush will work too. You can even use Q-tips. So to fill in my eyebrows, I just take a little bit of the color. I've been growing my eyebrows out for a while now. I used to pluck them a lot in high school, and now the trend is to have thicker, fuller eyebrows. There's nothing that ages you faster than 
too thin eyebrows. Do you see how much of a difference that makes framing my face? Okay, so now I'll move on to eyes. One of my favorite things for my eyes is this Smashbox. You can see I love it. It's quite used and it's only, it's not even a year old. I'll start with the light pink and go in the inner rims of my eyes. And um, then I'll use the brown on the inside, in the middle. I like to add a little bit of darker shade in the crease. So I use this Lorac, Lorac Tantalizer bronzer. And I put that in the crease of my eyes too. So I'll finish up my eyes in a little bit, but I'm going to move on to my cheeks and contour. So I'm using that Lorac Tantalizer bronzer. I'm just going to put it on the apples of my cheeks. Ladies, if you're not wearing blush or bronzer, why? It really just gives you a little bit more life, especially if you're wearing foundation. Okay, then you also need to blend it into any place the sun would hit, basically, or any place you want to contour it darker. So when you wear foundation, your skin becomes a blank slate. So you want to add back in the contours of your cheekbones. So I'll show you where I put a darker color. I would recommend a bronzer that doesn't have shimmer in it. I've heard Bahama Mama is a really good one, but that one's kind of expensive too and I haven't bought it yet, but I want to. So I'm just going to take some of the bronzer. If I had to choose only two items of makeup to do in one day, I would definitely wear blush and I would wear mascara because those are things that drastically change how awake and alive you look. So now I really like to do winged liner. I just bought this Master Duo Maybelline. This is black lacquer color. So I actually just bought this today. I haven't used it yet. So we're both taking an adventure today. To make the wing, go from the outside of your eye up and then connect. So I like to use falsies and I always curl my eyelashes. I curl each eye three times. So one time at the very base and hold it for a few seconds and then scoot it up a little bit into the middle for a couple seconds and then all the way at the very top. I do a lot of coats of mascara. Okay, almost done. I have a magic finishing touch that I love to do. I have this Aspen Summit number 23 Sephora eyeshadow. I'm using a really small brush and I will put it underneath my eyes here on the tip of my cheekbone and right here also down my nose here and on my chin. I have this CoverGirl Lip Perfection Liner. It's bright red so I make sure not to use it very... I just push really lightly on it. This is just a very basic day nice lip. I have this Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain. I got it at Target. This is color 40 Rendezvous. Make sure your lips are moisturized before you do this because we're not going for a matte look. We're going for a shiny, healthy, more natural look. So there you have it. A nice glowing look for every day. Works on just about anyone. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. Have a great week.